We will be the school that hosts this year after a couple of years. We trade and back come the GGs. Bryant and Degagne. Bryant, Degagne, goal! Matthew Degagne, five minutes, 53 seconds to go, restores the GGs lead. For the Waterloo Warriors, a big hit there. McMaster steps up. Well, get a confirmation. I couldn't tell if it was Peyton Robinson or Nick King, but Waterloo down a body, deflected it in! Adam Sandstrom, first goal of the season. I was gonna say, I looked up, I saw 55, we're just putting it in celebrating. I'm like, that is unfamiliar territory there, but that's gotta feel good. First goal of the season, and you know, just right place, right time. Guelph looking for a call, won't get one. Estratus puts that down nice. Beto first to it, cuts toward the middle. Beto, five hole, goes off the post, rebound in front, and they score! The puck was just sitting there at the goal line and tapping it in. Was for, Seguin. Yeah, for yeah. Mark Antoine Seguin. Ooh. Oh, well, backhand attempt, jumping blocker save coming from the Penna. Back the other way come the GGs. Boucher cuts toward the middle, dangle effect. Boucher in front, he scores! Another nice move by the GGs. This time it's Evan Boucher on the power play. He makes it 8-1. Fedel gets his hands chopped there by Craig Markhauser. Picks the puck up. Degagne steps up. Looking back and for oh, scores! What a pass by Degagne. Fedel ties this game up at one. And I mean, as cliche as it's going to sound, that's the best way to get back at a team, is to go and score and tie up the game. And that's exactly what the GGs did. You hear the crowd going pretty wild. Play here for the Windsor Lancers. Getting onto it here is Ladd. Ladd plays it up. Grondon with a shot, scores! Oh my, what a shot! That caught everybody off guard. Max Grondon has cut the Lancers' lead to one. 3-2 Lancers lead now. There's still 35 seconds on the power play here for the Lancers. They can pay. Peter Stratus gets into his teammate and now with a head of speed. Here comes Ottawa once again and alone scores! What a beautiful goal by number 18, Vincent LaBelle, who just caught the puck in full stride and blew the York Lions out of the water. Matt Tubble hung him out to dry. A spooner, double save and can't make the triple save as the GGs make it 2 nothing. So after Frank and LePen has been sa saving their bacon, GGs go down and score. Spooner trying his hardest to get any kind of save. Sliding around for the GGs as looks like Robert will go for a trip and call. But Grande says, that's okay, I got this one, and it's now tied. Grande just drives wide, and stuffs it home, and it's tied three to three, with 13.40 remaining in the first period. For you, Ottawa. Auto grab things up here. Stratus tries quick shot. They score! Power play goal. Peter Stratus. Ten seconds into the third, and it's a two-goal lead for the GGs. Three hundred four above nineteen. That of course went to nationals. Great to see them here tonight and being honored. Puck loose. Back in. Oh, what a goal! Spinning around, putting it past the glove. Tommy Bouchard, are you kidding me? 4 nothing GGs. Wow, <laughs> look at that selling too. That was uh, that was probably one of the sickest goals. Hit pocketed there by Bowman. He gets it over to McRae. McRae cuts toward the middle. McRae, he scores! 
Justin McRae cuts toward the net, pots it home and extends the lead back up to five. It's 6-1 GG's. And that was really made possible by a play by Bowman. Finds Grande, his weak shot, it rebounds up for a while, but loses a couple skates down to the puck, still loose, and it's in! They score! Die game, Max Grande! That was one of the weirdest sequence of events to lead up to a goal that I've seen in a very long time. But it started with an absolutely wonderful cross-ice pass to Peter GD to go down. Goal scorer and point getter for this Brock Badgers team adds another to his tally this season. Turnover, here's Poulain, the captain. Oh, Dippy Lou, Poulain scores! What a move! Anthony Poulain, the captain, ties this game up at one. And you know what? That's the type of response you're looking for if you're head coach Pat Grommet, you know? And uh, Poulain showed some nifty moves there, some dangles. A snowfall warning in effect uh, starting tomorrow in the nation's capital up to a uh, potential 25 centimeters in the first of winter storm here in Ottawa. Vero dangles through a few players. Vero backhand. Oh, what a goal! Are you kidding me? Luca Vero puts a power play goal on the board. 7-1 Ottawa. Ooh, wow. That was very, very nice. Put that one on the highlight reel too, why don't you, eh?